one of the most versatile chest presses ever. So I got a few new chest presses recently. Today I'm going to show you the Atlantis, I think it's P, P439. It's a combination flat and combination decline chest press. So I'm going to give you uh, my initial review after using it a handful of times. So this is the flat setting this, and this is the uh, most decline setting. So there's actually seven different adjustments. This pad here moves in and out mostly for declines. And then this arm obviously adjusts. It's got five different positions of height to adjust. To adjust. You're going to notice with this, these arms are a lot longer than the incline and shoulder press arms of the same series. All right, so seven different settings. I'm going to show you multiple different settings. I believe that the deepest setting is 22 degrees, and this is the flat. So the flat feels really good. Um, Similar to the incline, I think uh, the handle position on these is perfect. Um, it's just a perfect, I think it's about 45 degrees and about uh, 20 to 15 degrees for the neutral handle. It just perfectly recruits the pecs. So the, uh, the flat feels really good. The neutral handles are much easier on the flat than they are on the declines because of how long they are and uh, where your body is positioned. My main criticism of this and the incline is... Uh, it could use a little bit more convergence. It would feel uh, probably a 10 out of 10 if it had a little bit more convergence. Uh, as it is, it's still an excellent chest press so far that I've seen. Uh, still, my preferred way to use this uh, is with bands because uh, I feel much more of a contraction um, and it actually helps force me to have some inward intention when I press. Um, the benefit of this is your elbows are outside of your hands. Mo your hands are outside of your elbows, excuse me, most of the time. So it is a good way to keep tension on the pecs. So I believe this is the second setting. Uh, I'm just going to show you multiple settings. So for me, the second and the third setting were probably the most comfortable. Um, the deepest setting I'll show you was I still need to get some get used to the hand positions in my foot position um, and the pre-stretch position, but. To me, the slight decline felt better than even the flat and the complete decline. Um, but to me, it's it's a it's so far it's an excellent chest press. Like I said, if there was more convergence, it would solve any uh, problems I have with it. And this is the third setting you can see. Um, again, the the way the handles are positioned, it. it it really does hit the pecs well. I wish I could get this handle position on even all the prime pieces because uh, I think the, the handle angle on even the prime and, and several of the other chest presses is just slightly off where you're just getting too much anterior deltoid and not enough uh, pec. So this is actually the deepest setting. So here I wasn't, I was I, I didn't have my uh, pre-stretch settings appropriate so it felt a little, a little different. You can see it now in this one I have uh, had on the third setting of pre-stretch so it's better. But to me, uh, it's a good chest press, bordering on excellent. I'm gonna play around with it more. It's extremely versatile. Um, the neutral handles are a little awkward when you're at the complete decline. They feel better when you're at a slight decline. Um, but I'm gonna play around with this more. Um, but for me, it's a great alternative. So I just like to spend more time with it um, for a better thorough review compared to my other pieces, but there just aren't a lot of dedicated decline pieces. Um, this is, uh, looks to be extremely versatile. 